Hi everyone. Um, this is a um, book a book TBR slash well not a vlog but it's just a book TBR. My name is Artemisa or of course my real name is Sadia. But um, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new, um, welcome. Um, I'm a student and a full time student and I love reading books. I love collecting dolls and other stuff like k-pop albums or like now doing digital planning stuff like that books digital planning dolls video games music and oh gosh and maybe i'll just like makeup i don't really have a lot of makeup mostly it's eyeshadow i have like three eyeshadow palettes too many tab palettes and one like medium size palette but today it's just um book talking and like where i'm at in like in progress with books so my current read is this book the dutch house by Anne passion i'm in actually i'm in chapter 17 still i only have like three chapters left and i'm finished with this book because i have other books to read and like before i got my ipad okay because it's not sponsored but i got ipad air purple um before i got my ipad i had a huge reading slump with this book the girl who wrote loneliness i had a huge reading slump like i love her first book well the book that i read first was please look after mom i love that book i love the ryan style but i'm like on page 60 to 61 i'm like right here i had a huge reading slump and i was like oh well, i gotta find something i have a three set of this i finished yoke by the way so that's the other book I finished reading. Then the child I started reading. So I have Emergency Contact and Permanent Record. I decided to read Yoke first because it's about two sisters. Like, I have a sister, so I was like, let me read about it. read about it. And like, Yoke was um more of like I felt emotional with the characters. Like I had emotional bond with the characters. Like, for instance, Jane and June. For instance, like I felt really bad for June, and then I would get mad at Jane, and I would get mad at June. It was like it was like going back and forth. But I was less mad at June. I was more mad at Jane. It was like, girl, you can literally kick out the guy she had that was living in our apartment with her. Like, why? <laughs> so actually, I finished reading that. I pretty like, much liked. I liked it a lot. Like, I love the how it's more realistic. The only sad thing is, and it's a spoiler, it's a cliffhanger. You don't know what happens at the end. Like, you know, does James, does June survive? Like, what happens next? It just ends, you know. I won't, it's a spoiler, it, it just ends. You know, like, you don't know what happens next. But I do like it. I started reading Emergency Contact and Permanent Record while I was trying to read this book. I'm still, you know, trying to read this book. So, I started reading this. I'm like on, hold on. I'm on, like, Chapter 2, but they go by Sam and Penny. So like now I'm in perspective of Sam and like I just stopped reading there because I got more focused on Yolk and Dutch House. And then on Permanent Record, I'm like at chapter, of course, I think I'm in chapter two. Yeah, I'm chapter two of Permanent Record. Um, Permanent Record, I, when I started reading it, like the first chapter of it, I was like, I really like this book. I feel like I'm going to get along with this book and the characters. I want to see how what happens next. Emergency Contact, I'm a little bit of. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's good. I hope I won't get like a reading slump like this one. But what I did like about Mary H.K. Choi's chapters, like in Yolk, is like you finish one chapter and you want to read, keep reading again, read like the next chapter because a lot of their chapters are not long. They're not as long. Like Kyung Suk Shin's books are long, very long. And I felt like, oh my gosh, maybe I have a short tension span or something, but I love reading. So I gave her a break. I was really trying to find an audiobook for her for this book. So I could just listen to it while I'm reading or like doing homework. But I can't really find any. And my library doesn't have it. And um, yeah, these are the two book three books that I currently start reading and was focused on Yolk and Dutch House. Let's start with Dutch House. The Dutch House. It's set back in like it's like after the war, like World War One, I, I think. And after I think after World War II because they're not in the nineteen sixties now. So well when they get older they're nineteen sixties. But what I love about this book is that it just gives more of a historical 
fiction. I feel like it's real because I've heard of Jenkintown. I've heard of the area like Schultz and like different like the Catholic Church and stuff. Like a part of these area areas before because I myself like New York and I like I I never been there. But I like New York and I've heard a little bit of like Pennsylvania. Like I'm interested about those areas, you know. I've never been to those two um, states before, but I was really interested in reading this because of the cover. I was like, it's really pretty. It's actually made for Danny's sister, older sister. But I'm at the end of chapter of this book, like the end, the end of the book, and I'm surprised how, for instance, um, the mother comes back. Ooh, that's a spoiler. Spoiler is mo the mom comes back. She comes back like way when they're way older. Like Danny's already married. He has two kids. He's a wife. He's worked on like buildings and stuff, and he's a doctor. And May's like way older. She's working at like some place. I will. I forget. It's like artisan, artisan or something. But what's like really sad too is that I felt really, really bad for the, the two siblings because when Danny's growing up and the sister's already older, um, his father dies, right? And so we're stuck with. And Andrea, which is his stepmom and the second wife of Cyril. Cyril, I think this is his name. Cyril. Um, I don't want to say I don't want to say Cyrus. Cyril. But what's the status is that the stepmother kicks out Danny. Because, like I was saying, but yeah, I don't own those ones. I mentioned the ones that I don't own, but I want to read them and I want to own them. There's this other book called. Oh my God! Let me type it up. It's uh, I think it's called like the Red Empress like that let's see it was in walmart it's this imprint's book and she's like wearing red walmart it's like a manga i think i think it's a manga no hold on let me see let me see maybe it is this one i'm not sure let me see it is where's the book cover of it oh my god the cover I don't like the title like can we see it it's this one that's what it is it's called the remarried empress they finally brought true beauty as the manga in my story so i, I see true beauty there but i want to buy it but i can't because i have other books to read and i don't want to add a book that i can't finish my other books yet like i want to be clearly done or have at least one book that i'm reading and then i could buy one you know what i mean but it's like crazy so this my ipad looks like curling now Actually, it looks like this. I actually am doing I was 17 public beta on it. I actually like it. I do because now you can like. Hold on, let me let me clear this off. I've got some other things. You can add widgets, change the font size, change the font color, change the font style, add um, photo shuffle. Like you can do that now with your see and like you can add basically like your iphone where now you can like add photos add a photo shuffle add emojis weather astronomy and color and there's like different styles for instance i have the hello page right here and it actually if you tap on like the picture it changes into different languages it'll say hello too then they can give you suggested photos weather astronomy kaleidoscopes and unity which is for black creators and allies at the apple to honor black history and culture you got emojis you got you got pride. Oh my gosh, you got collections. I want to do the wallpaper that usually comes for the apple, like the purple wallpaper for it, but I don't see it. So it's probably into settings, but yeah. My other wallpaper I have is the one I made. I have not sold it yet because oh, I haven't listed it yet because I'm still making more stuff. And it's taking me time because I'm in college and I'm busy, like writing paper. Well, one paper, but I, I've got to, like, make my stuff, you know. i gotta, I got to do digital planning. I want to do a language learning plan, like, make my own. This is my other one I have. Which is a photo shuffle, which I have. Hannah Vibara is actually one of my favorite digital artists. Like, I love her art style. She does Jinshin Impact. She does celebrities. She does um, movie icons. I think she did Barbie and Wednesday. She did uh, different K-pop idols, like for instance, Red Velvet. This is Red Velvet. This is, I don't know who this is supposed to be. I don't know who that's supposed to be, actually. I thought literally Wednesday, but now this is like, 
again. Spy experiences anime. She does J-Hope like BTS. Uh, again, red velvet. This is Wings Club. Like I have Wings Club. Like another Jushin Impact. Yeah. Sophie's Hound and Castle. Sailor Moon. Like oh my gosh. Another one of <laughs> BTS. Sailor Moon in this style. Okay, Miko from Jushin Impact. This is Ayu from I think it's eight. This is um totally spies. That's what it is. Totally spies. But I really love Tony Spence, Gerald from Butter. Another BTS one from McDonald's. This is Sugar and Yungi. Wait, Yungi is Sugar. What the heck? Yungi and J Hope together. I think this is like back when he, they were in YNWA era. This is like You Never Walk Alone era, I think it was. But Pop of Girls, but as anime characters Buttercup, Blossom, and. Who are you? Bubbles? Yeah, Bubbles. This is Taeyeon. Damn. I love this one because when I first got the iPad, I finally saw this. I was like, oh my gosh. I originally had it in purple, but it's just plain background purple. I was like trying to find something that like is my style and technically her art style I really like a lot. I like many different artists. For instance, Sleepy Days, which I have Sleepy Days as my phone case. And um, I have, I think, two collections of a wallpaper set. And then I love Tabatai, which that's another thing I want to say. Uh, Tabatai. Like, I love I love her art. It's very cute. I'm planning on buying her, one of her phone cases. It's the Your Great one. I made it clear with pink. Excuse me, but I want to buy it because I'm like, I want Tabatai. I love Tabatai a lot. I like her stuff. <laughs> um, I love her wallpapers too. I love the art that she does. I'm like, it's very impressive. I want to be like a really good digital artist. I'm still getting there. I've made me two app icons, which is Disney and the App Store, Apple's App Store. But I'm slowly getting there. It's like, I can't imagine me just sitting at my desk all day just doing one, doing digital. Like, I tried it yesterday, well, the other day before I started doing classwork again because I'm trying to figure out how to do, how to make a digital plan, right? Like, I'm, like, I'm stuck at something really quick. Let me show you. Okay. Like, this is my Apple app icon. It doesn't look as good because there's like some blue I see into the stroke, like in the areas. But if I go to Canva right now, because like I'm trying to edit on Canva, I'm trying to see like if I should edit on key, Keynotes or Canva. I've been seeing people who do um, dig, digital planning editing, like digital planners on Keynotes. I'm like, well, let me try Canva because I've seen people do Canva. So this is what the the cover looks like first. I was gonna try to do maybe like how a notebook looks, but I was like maybe I should try this because I've seen people do it. This is what this looks like the page. I only have down three pages. This is what it looks like so far. What I'm trying to figure out is how to add shadows in more pages. Like I have more pages on it because I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck on what to do. Thanks. So I'm still trying to figure out with digital planning, and then once like. When I edit it and add more pages and add sections and hyperlink, my phone is acting up so bad. Um, forgive me. Um, I'm recording on my iPad right now. Um, my phone's acting up because now I'm on beta and like, really, I was 17, like 10 gigabytes. And I did not see that. It was acting like I had so much storage, but I'm just backing up my videos and stuff like that. I'm trying to finish my. I was about to finish my video, literally. But no, it was the ugly dumbbell and say, oh, you can't record, but I'm sorry about that. Plus, I'm testing the quality of my iPad. See the difference? Like, iPad versus iPhone. I think iPhone looks really good. Um, OneDrive does not want to open up for some odd reason to back up, so that's a bothersome thing. I'm going to see if I can go back. Like, literally, my phone. So this is my phone case. This is literally um, Caseify Sleepy Days. I did this in the, this is the Have a Sweet Day phone case style. And I did it in sheer, I guess purple or lavender you would say. Uh, but yeah, it has scratches on it. It came with scratches on it, but I just like, if you don't see it, it's not as noticeable. It's fine. And I have Yoongi on the background because I thought, I picked Yoongi, but I have other photo cards of the other boy band, like in 
not NCT 17. I don't have NCT. I have an NCT album, but it does not come with any. It did not come with anything in it. It was just empty. <sighs> but sad. I'm sad that my phone is literally acting up and does not want to work now. And like, oh no, oh crap. What what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What the heck? My app is glitching. Like, don't tell me. I'm. So it was. It first opened up. Right. It first opened up. And now, you know what, I'm just going to reset my phone, because I'll just talk to you guys. I'll just talk to you for now, because, why not, I'll talk to you guys, YouTuber, YouTube people, YouTube people. So, yeah, don't, don't mind the background, it's, it's a bit of a mess. I'm going to go ahead and put my, these books away, yeah, these books. I'm going to put, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stack them up, put them, oh my gosh, put them away, because... Technically, taking up space, and I gotta put these up on my shelf. See that? Oh gosh, it is like quite a mess. So yeah, it's, it's been crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit on its bunny stand. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this. I'm researching a paper. Let's talk about college, I guess. Oh, oh crap, I never asked for my password to sign into drone.me. Okay, um, strange, where did I put it? I can't find my little brown book. Well, that sucks. Now what am I going to do? What am I going to do with God? Gosh darn it. Where did it go? Okay. That's my journal. That's my book I'm writing. Yes, I'm actually writing me a book. Slowly. I'm trying so many things that are different and now I can't find my brown book. My brown book. Oh, girl, it's in the drawer. So let's talk about college prices. I'm writing a paper. I'm in a business. I'm in an ethics class. I guess you call it ethics. It's a business and society um, class, right? And like, I'm not... I have... I have taken classes with ethics class, right? And usually they have a textbook. But this class does not have no textbooks. You read articles. Which I have no problem, right? But I have to write notes and like see if I need to add anything in my notes, right? So like I have less notes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, all I do is read two to four articles and then read two one to two lectures. And yeah, that's it. Try to see in here. So I'm gonna delete in my throw that meat right, I have a whole wish, wish list of items I want. So I'm deleting roll B, the fierce OMG Snow Seven Dolls, and Brats Megan because they're actually unavailable on Amazon, right? So the only thing I have left on here is a few things. That there's like, was it one thing for office, two things for office because the desk mat and a pegboard, right? It's called Mole Same Pegboard, right? But I'm deleting the dust mat because I can get it on their shop website with the wrist pad, wrist wrist pad. So what I have left is a ESR case that's purple, that's purple, and it's for iPad Air. I want it. It's like $32 on Amazon right now. And the pet board, I have two adjustable cell phone stands, or you can use as an iPad stand, which I'm going to use as a backpack, but two. It's pink and purple. My sister has pink. I have purple. So it was like really cute. And then my two Apple Pencil cases. One's by Ilago. It's a purple pencil. It's like popular. Everyone I've seen people, right? And the Moco holder pencil case. That's purple. And the dolls I actually really like. And currently I don't list. I know. I love dolls. I love them a lot. Um, it's Fiana, Donna. They are the Brad Series 3 Repro Reproduction Series now. For the 20th anniversary, I think. Felicia and Tiana. Look, don't get me wrong. I don't add, I don't have the guys, right? Because I don't want the guy brats. I mean, they're all right. Their character's good on the show. We'll say that. They're better than um, Rainbow High. Because <laughs> the guy with Rainbow High is just so odd looking. I add, okay, Rainbow High dolls, Shadow High dolls. So the Rainbow High, Shadow High doll I added was Monique for Benna. I love purple dresses. I love purple anything. And in the Rainbow High twin set pack, this is Sunny and Luna Madison. 
my sister thought I was ridiculous wanting to get these two because technically I have Sunny and Luna, but they're series one. Well, they're both series one, yeah, that's right. Series one's all. But they're not cute as these twin pack ones. I should have waited and got the twin packs, right? But I didn't think that, right? <laughs> hey, I didn't think. Uh, because I would, uh, I didn't know they were planning on making, you know, s twins of the Madison twins. And I love Sunny's outfit the most. And I love Luna's makeup and hairstyle and the way she has. Because my Luna actually has a way when I took down her bun. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Because they're very cute. And Sunny has more of the J-pop kawaii fashion. Like, they should have added that in series one. Because she loves the kawaii yellow. It's kawaii fashion. It's yellow. It's pretty. And Monster High Doll, I have this ultimate series for Descent Draculaura. I love that she looks very wintry. She has a nice vibe. I added the Abby Bombable, the $54 one. The ones that everyone's talking about that she's ridiculously priced. Yeah, I added her because I like her a lot. And I like the Monster High School and Secret Spirit Descent Claudine. I love that she's purple. I added this doll. This doll is the highest on the list, which is the Hunt Monster High Hot Couture Clear Denial. I never own a Clear Denial doll, ever. I only have, it's the Claudine um, Beach one, the Beach style one. And my sister has Claudine Beach style as well, and Dracula and Jackie Becca. She loved Dracula and Jackie Becca. Okay. I just had Claudine. I always try to get Clear Denial, and they never had Clear Denial when I was little. I'm like, where is Clear Denial? Come on. And then I have Clear Denial. I think this is the fashion set one. She's really cute. And then I lastly have this Logitech Pop Keys. She, it's the Cosmo one, which I didn't know they made a Cosmo. That's all purple. I had the daydream one. I just have the daydream keyboard, and then my mouse is mom, which is it. It said it was wireless, and it's not wireless. It's you put it. You put the USB in the computer. It's not wireless, so I'm like, damn, this is messed up. I would have been perfect if it was, because then I could use it on my iPod. I didn't even think of that. So yeah, and the other doll that I did want next, they haven't released, is the one that everyone's been posting on Reddit. The or the um. It's these OMG Soto 7 Furious Doll Digital Candy Licious and Kitty K. I want Candy Licious because I love the colors of her pastel. I'm a, pa I'm a pastel girl. I love pastel and I like her color scheme. It's perfect. It's Candy Licious. Like, I like Candy Licious' character and Wolby's character and Swag. Those are the main three I like. The last one would be Neon Licious, which I kind of did like Neon Licious, but then I was like, yeah, I don't really want Neon Licious. I want to get Wolby. I love Wolby a lot. I have Swag. And she's adorable. I love her. I play with her sometimes. And um, the doll that I want to look at store and like see the variant is Victoria Whitman because there's like so many variants. There's like two or three variants of her. I'm like, oh my god, what the heck? So uh, I'm trying to find the perfect Victoria Whitman. I love, I like her style. It's very pastel. It's it's pink. Usually I'm not a pink girl. Like I got this shirt in Ross, right? It's pink but with purple, and it's my melody. And um, if I can show my other friend. My sister is Karami. See, she's this one. She's Karami. So, yeah. Those those are all on my drone wish list right now. And the desk mat is the Geek Share. It's the Dark Star Angel one. It's very purple and black. And I love that color scheme too. Like, what the heck? So, this week I have one paper to write, right? Because my ethics class, we have to write every week one paper they're different thank god they're different so this week i have to do it i i have to do a business regulation paper which means i have to identify one agency that is a board or a department within the federal government responsible for uploading upholding regulations that impact business operations she gives examples like the irs epa the atf like or the department of commerce research and then we have to explain the purpose of the agency or borough and explain how it directly impacts businesses too and like i've been thinking about what's the what's the borough or department for when they have to regulate restaurants like i, I should type that borough oh boris i can um is that fda does fda like does, does fda does FDA regulate restaurants? Oh my god. Someone said that this FDA regulates sex toys. That's not what I want. I put, I put down restaurant. Restaurants. Okay, so FDA. Food and Drug Administration. I can do that one. 
Let's do the FDA. I want to I do FDA. The retail food protection. Um, let's talk about another thing I found. Okay, I took a picture. Oh, my phone's totally off. But I took a picture of the other day, right? I was at Target, right? <laughs> Let me just tell myself. I was at Target, right? And I saw these pretty purple platform sandals, right? I was like, oh my god. I love them. They're also twins. I didn't have enough money for it. Why, right? Then I get a little check in for my um, college, right? And then I was like, oh my god. Let me go. Let me go ask my mom. Take me to Target. I, I want to go to Target. I need to, like, I want to see if they're still there. Why is my phone screen? My phone's blind. Oh, now. There you go. Let, well, let's see. What's, what's going on? Okay, good. So, let's see if OneDrive... Well, let me show you my picture. Let me show you the photo. So, I have it in here. I took a picture of it on Monday because we were out on Monday and we were like, you know, we had to get some few things. And these were them, right? These were them, like. They're beautiful. They're comfortable. They're a size 11. I'm a size 10. And they, of course, they didn't have a size 10 in purple. They had size 10 in black and white. And they were $40. They weren't on sale. Because they're, um... They're having a sale on shoes. Like, 30 to 70% off on selected shoes in Target. Which I thought was a pretty good deal. I wish they had Rule B back on sale for $15. But they didn't. They, like, stopped. So, I'm gonna go see... I think it's in Essentials. I made a tab, I made a folder for essentials and one for digital editing, so bear with me. Please open. Yes, they open. Okay, so it says four remaining. Good. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, shoes that I bought. They're on the I was lucky. Got him. They're like right here. They're beautiful. They're the Wild Fable. I think they're the Alyssa platform sandals. I think. They didn't even come with box. They just saw just prop it right there. Like they have no box. I'm adopting it. I'm adopting it. They're purple. I have no pair of shoes that are purple. I have shoes that are black. I have shoes that are white. And I have shoes that are um I have a flower one. They're sandals. They're sandals. They're Madden Girl flowery ones. Um, black, white, small side color because of the sandals. And I have one pair of sneakers. Those are New Balances, and they're like a nude color. I, I wore a few times, and I start wearing because it's summertime. My feet get really hot in the summertime. So I'm like, what the heck? What the heck? So yeah, I I've been having a crazy time. Okay, and there's another app. Right, I was up late at night and I shouldn't have been up but it's called Lemon 8. I've been loving it. I told my sister about this app about Lemon 8, right? And she's like, okay, I'll look at it. And I was like, oh my gosh, well you're not missing out. Don't miss out. Because like people post about what they do for like digital media. People have been posting about what they get at Starbucks, like what their recipes are. Or some people post about this is beautiful. I just saw it just now. Best bubble tea at NYC. I'm not in New York City, but it's nice seeing pretty food. <laughs> Or what people do with their iPad. It, like, this is my first ever iPad, alright? Like, I've had most of my life. is just my iPhone. And, of course, my mom has our desktop PC. So, that's the only thing I've had. So, so I'm going to start college. First thing I bought was my laptop. It's an HP Pavilion. 15.6 inch. I feel bad getting 15.6. I should have got 14 inch. But it's not that bad. It's not that heavy. Um, then, I bought my sister her laptop. Hers is 17 inch. It's Aces. She literally likes her laptop. I'm glad. I'm pretty happy. It's for her college. She was in high school at the time. But um, I bought it just ahead because they're on sale. It's on sale. The next thing I was so happy of buying is my baby girl. I should be, like, playing on her. My Nintendo Switch OLED. I bet. I, like, saved so much money just to buy her. And Animal Crossing. Just to play with those two games until I got to other games on here. But I haven't played in, like, a whole month. Cause I've been so consumed with my iPad, my iPhone, my laptop because I sometimes play on my uh, laptop and iPad. Well, I started playing on my iPad. I was just testing it out, see what it does, all features, explore. You know, do a little thing when you get a new device, right? And um, yeah, it's my iPhone. iPhone 12 Pro Max. Silver. It's not a 13, it's a 12, it's not a 14. My sister was talking about the other day to get an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I was like, girl, why do you need an iPhone 14? iPhone 14 Pro Max. 
It's just, I just want a dynamic island. <laughs> it's like, girl, what the heck? It's literally like the same cost. Well, it's actually $200. $200, $300, $300, no, it's 200 Yeah, it's 200 No, 300 Yeah, it's $300 cheaper for an iPad than this, than this, you know, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Because, like, heck, I would honestly get Deep Purple, but I would probably get me a Pro because this is, this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, right? It's a bit heavy for me, but I have so many cases that are now a Pro Max and a Pro. But I'm like, why? I just, and I've heard people say that the Pro Max iPhone 14 is just much more heavier than this. And then I'm like, I would just get me the Pro, but I'm actually happy with my phone, what I have now, because it's compatible, it works. It's not like um, when I had the iPhone 6 as plus that you had to get the that was good. Get the um we call it the iPhone 12 Pro Max because areas were updating their 5G towers. And, you know iPhone 6 S Plus didn't have the support for iPhone um for 5G internet. So might as well get a new phone. I mean, why not? So yeah, I actually miss that old phone. But then again, I'm like the screen is a bit smaller. <laughs> But yeah, and then this, these are not real. They're, they're just green Timu headphones I bought at Timu. They were like $8. I like them, but I'll tell you something. Like, they're comfortable if you do not wear glasses. Because I don't know when I wear with glasses, it tends to get my ear pain right here. I'm like, oh my god, no. But those are all my tech products. It's, and next to my custom control I made by myself. It this I had a freaking heart attack when I did this pro. I should have done a video of it, but I wasn't prepared. I was like so excited just to do this. It's got some dust. But I love playing with this with my Nintendo actually. It's so fun. And yeah, those are all my tech products. I have a printer my mom gave me. It's her old printer. She got a new one I bought it for. I was like, I bought I buy you this printer, okay? Because this old one is horrible. Because when you print in color, like for blue and purple, it makes it look pink. And there's nothing wrong with it. The inks are fine. There's nothing linking. There's no dust in it. It's just it's just old. <laughs> it's just old. And it's HP. Like there's some HP products that suck sometimes. So. I won't say about my laptop. My laptop is pretty good. It's fast. There's some days where it does act slow. And it's because it's the internet. And you're like, what the heck? So, yeah. And then, today, um, what's the guy I need to talk about? I need to figure out what to do with Squishmallows, right? Because I have four Squishmallows. I have two, one small, one's extra small, one's medium, and two that are large. Okay, and two of them are drinks. One is pumpkin spice, it's the Lindy. And then I have Jacaria, which is a boba tea. And then I have a little mini cow and a little chick. And I have Abilene, who's a flamingo. And then I have a tiny cow named Nightingale. He's way tiny. He's like, he's got this, he's tinier than him. Good at Um, But yeah. Because I want to make a chart of like, different um, Squishmallows that I want. <laughs> it's very hard to find the Squishmallows at the store. Because lately they've been having a lot of these flip, the flip and mala ones. And I don't really like the flip ones. Um, It's nice to have two in one, but... They're not really selling good in my store, in my location, because there's still tons left that are just the flip mellows and the regular Squishmallows, right? It's like, what the heck? My sister, um, she, like, I bought last time, her last Squishmallow, she, the last one she has is Zane, which she renamed it Ghoul. Um, Zane, even him, he's, they brought a whole bunch of Zane, like, the Squishmallows of Bigfoot. I was like, oh my god, why is it taking so long for them to sell Zane? There's this pink one that's a f the fluffy mellows. They're fluffy. Um, it's a pink one. I think it's a porcupine or a hedgehog. I don't know what it is. Um, but that one's taking long to sell too because there's like so many of them. I'm like, oh my god. Um, the other one I really liked recently was Selma the Skunk. I didn't buy her. I didn't get a chance to, but she's, she's gone. So I was like, oh, she must have got a good home. <laughs> it's so cute talking about toys and stuff squishmallows i love squishmallows they're so cute i love dolls too i play with mine um the last brat doll that i bought for me was kiana i bought her kumi because recently amazon's been tripping with the brat dolls like megan literally sold out so i can't get megan that was the second one i needed to get so and nerva because we both 
She wanted Nerva and Kumi. I wanted Kiana and Megan. Recent, originally, I wanted Nerva and um, Kiana. But she wanted Nerva. So I was like, fine. You can have Nerva. Because usually, all her dolls come in my room and see my dolls. But it's okay. It's like a share win win They, She both, she comes and say hi to her dolls and my dolls. So it's a win-win. You know, we're older. It's, it's a trip. We share. <laughs> but yeah. But what I do on my iPad. What have I been doing on my iPad recently? I watch videos on there. I listen to music on there. I use the Pomodoro, like, live ad thing, like, one time. Um, I read on there. I did use GoodNotes, like, to write and test out, like, writing skills and stuff like that, like, all that. Um, I recently got some fonts for it from iFont, the blue app with the F on it. iFont is free. Um, what else do I have recently now been using this draw? I found this app that's like Procreate, but it's free called High Paint. I was like having a hard time finding me an app that's just like Procreate because I tried to use Adobe Fresco and that didn't work out for me. I was like, I'm getting, I'm getting upset. I'm getting upset with it. But yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And use it for digital. Use it for note taking sometimes. Watch videos, play video games on there, just to test out, like, everything. I even scroll on, like, Instagram, Lemonade, and the Chinese app, Red Book. I think it's called Red Book. But, um, just to scroll through, listen to audio, test it out. I really enjoy my iPad. I see some good pros with it. It's very helpful, I think, especially with note-taking. Um, I haven't done note-taking for school because I'm trying to finish these two notebooks. I have these two extra notebooks that I didn't know that were sitting there in my drawer. I was like, well, I'll use these for these class. So... Yeah, that's it. This is my vlog. Talking about books, dolls, squishmallows, what's my what's going on with my life. Really much and nothing really. Just college, relaxing, trying to spend time with family, trying to do digital editing, trying to write a book that I stop on like two pages and I haven't gotten back to it. Because I'm like, Oh my god, it's just my time. I need to have better time management. We'll try to do that. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.